What can I do for you, my friend? Pictured myself as a hero. Never thought I'd be the one they'd toast for saving so many lives. And now that I'm here. I hate it. This is awful. We killed some goblins to save some tieflings. The tally of lives didn't change much. But what do I get for all my hard work? A pat on the head and vinegar for wine. Pfft. I'm just looking for a little more excitement, a little more fun. By the hells, sex, my dear, a night of passion. Let's wait until things quieten down. Once the others are asleep, we'll find each other. Indeed you will, my love. Indeed you will. Goblin King, that head. ferocious. Buzz of celebration quiets to a soothing hum as you approach your bunk. Though you seek repose, you needn't spend the night alone. There is one who yearns for you in the dark. Who will you seek? Your heart skips a beat. What treasures might this night bestow? There you are. I've been waiting. Waiting since the moment I set eyes on you. Waiting... to have you. Don't I? You're here. And I don't think you want to talk. I think you want to be known, to be tasted. What do any of us want? Pleasure. Yours. Mine. Our collective ecstasy. That's what you want, isn't it? To lose yourself in me. I thought so. It's a poem, a gift from my old master, Casador. 
He considered himself quite the artist and used his slaves as a canvas. He composed and carved that one over the course of a night. He made a lot of revisions as he went. You recall the sharp, complex lines of the script. It was written in the language of the Hells. Infernal? I... Who knows? The bastard was insane. Anyway, enough pillow talk. Let's go before the tieflings drag us into another mess. I trust you enjoyed your evening? <laughs> <laughs>